Shemuel Rishon 1 Samuel 13. Shaul reigned one year, and when he had reigned two years over Yashareel, Shaul chose him three thousand men of Yashareel, whereof two thousand were Shaul, rather were with Shaul in Mikmash and in Mount Beit El, and a thousand were with Yonathan in Giva of Binyamin. And the rest of the people he sent every man to his tent. And Jonathan spoke, rather, smote eth the garrison of the Pelashitim that was in Giva. And the Pelashitim heard of it. And Shaul blew the shofar throughout all the land, saying, Let the Ivrim hear. Okay, love you, bye-bye. And all Yashareel heard say that Shaul had smitten Eth a garrison of the Pelashitim, and that Yashareel also was had in abomination with the Pelashitim. And the people were called together after Shaul to Gilgal, and the Pelashitim gathered themselves together to fight with Yashareel, 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and people as the sand which is on the seashore in multitude. And they came up and pitched in Mikmash eastward from Beit Aven. When the men of Yashareel saw that they were in a strait, for the people were distressed, then the people did hide themselves in caves, and in thickets, and in rocks, and in high places, and in pits. And some of the Ivrim went over at the Yardan to the land of Gad and Gilad. As for Shaul, he was yet in Gilgal, and all the people followed him, trembling. And he tarried seven days according to the set time that Shemuel had appointed. But Shemuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Shaul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me, and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offering, behold, Shemuel came, and Shaul went out to meet him, that he might salute him. And Shemuel said, What have you done? And Shaul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that you came not within the days appointed, and that the Pelashitim gathered themselves together at Mikmash, therefore said I, The Pelashitim will come down now upon me to Gilgal. And I have not made supplication unto Yahuwah. I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. And Shemuel said to El Shaul, You have done foolishly. You have not guarded at the commandment of Yahuwah Eloheka, which he commanded you. For now would Yahuwah have established at your kingdom upon El Yashereel forever. But... Now your kingdom shall not continue. Yahuwah has sought him a man after his own heart, and Yahuwah has commanded him to be captain over his people. Because you have not guarded at that which Yahuwah commanded you. And Shemuel arose and got him up from Gilgal unto Giva of Binyamin. And Shaul numbered at the people that were present with him, about six hundred men. And Shaul and Yonathan, his son, and the people that were present with them, abode in Giva of Binyamin. But the Pelashitim encamped in Mikmash. And the spoilers came out of the camp of the Pelashitim 
in three companies. One company turned unto the way that leads to Ofra, unto the land of Shual. And another company turned the way of Beat Haran. And another company turned to the way of the border that looks to the valley of Sevaim toward the wilderness. Now there was no smith found throughout all the land of Yashra'el, for the Pelashitim said, lest the Ivrim make them swords or spears. But all Yashra'el went down to the Pelashitim to sharpen every man at his plowshare and at his hoe and at his axe and at his matok. Yet they had a file for the mattocks, and for the coulters, and for the forks, and for the axes, and to sharpen the goads. So it came to pass in the day of battle that there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people that were with Eth Shaul and Eth Yonathan. But with Shaul and with Yonathan, his son was found there. Rather, his son was there found. And the garrison of the Pelashitim went out to the passage of Mikmash.